Police are still looking for Trudy Appleby to resolve her missing person case that started back on August the 21st, 1996 in Moline, Illinois. Trudy's father, Dennis, departed from their family's residence to work at approximately 9 a.m. that day. A neighbor saw Trudy enter a silver or a gray four-door box style vehicle similar to a Chevrolet Celebrity in the driveway home between 9.30 and 10.30 a.m. She was last seen wearing a shirt, black stretchy bicycle shorts, white socks, and dark blue Nike deck shoes with white shoelaces. The driver of the vehicle is described as being Caucasian and in his 20s at the time with curly brown or black hair and was worn long to his shoulders. The suspect was wearing a baseball cap and neither Trudy nor the suspected abductor have been seen again. Her father reported her disappearance when he could not find her after he returned home from work that day. Authorities believe that Trudy may have known the vehicle's driver. Her family's residence was located off the main road and was not visible from the street. Her case was initially investigated as a possible runaway, but investigators believe that she was actually abducted. She took a swimsuit and a towel before departing from her home, and she left approximately $200 behind, which her father said she had saved for an upcoming vacation. The day Trudy disappeared, her father, or her friend Amber, who was 13 at the time, was supposed to call her, and the two had planned to spend the day together. By the time Amber called, there was no answer. William, known as Ed Smith, was identified as the prime suspect in Trudy's disappearance in 2017. Smith, a friend of Trudy's father, died in 2014, and a witness, reportedly his son-in-law, David Whipple, who lived across the street from Smith in 1996, had seen Trudy in his car, and Smith threatened to kill him if the witness told the police about this. Whipple was a registered sex offender, and he refused to cooperate with investigators in Trudy's disappearance. Smith was seen alone later that day of Trudy's disappearance, and Trudy was never seen again. He had his car scrapped within a week of Trudy's disappearance, and he acted despondent whenever her name was mentioned. Trudy was friends with one of the Whipple's children and frequently accompanied their family on the boat. On the day of her disappearance, she had asked her father for permission to go swimming, and he told her no. However, it's possible she went anyway, and she was enjoying her summer break from school. A third person of interest is Jamieson A., otherwise known as Jamie Fisher, was named in Trudy's case in 2020. He was a lifelong friend of the Smith family, and photos of Fisher, Whipple, and Smith are all posted with this case summary. In May 2021, Fisher was sentenced to two years in prison for an unrelated charge of auto theft. Investigators believe that Fisher and Whipple have knowledge of what happened to Trudy and may have helped cover up whatever caused her disappearance. Police are appealing to anyone who might have seen any suspicious activity in the areas of Campbell's Island, Blackbird Island, Dynamite Island, or the boat launch at Empire Park in East Malloyne, Illinois on the day Trudy disappeared. The face and the name of an 11-year-old girl who went missing in 1996 is well known to thousands of the Quad City residents. Despite vigils, searches, and a continuing investigation, the child who was last seen on August the 21st of that year has not yet been found. Her name is Trudy Appleby and her annually people gather to remember her. Online resources list her cause case as one of the mysteries that remain to be solved, and her family members continue to wonder when they will know the whereabouts of the little girl with the bright smile. Trudy's mother, who is now deceased, was afraid the case would never be solved, but Kelly has promised to continue to create awareness of the case. Kelly Rowland Carlson was Trudy's neighbor in Moline. She continues to find out more about the case with the Missing Trudy Appleby Facebook page. Kelly's daughter Amber and Trudy were fast friends. Trudy was at her house the night before she disappeared, Kelly told the media. Trudy was vivacious. She was a ball of energy. She just loved everybody and she just trusted everybody. Kelly says, throughout the years, Kelly has been impressed with the Moline police, especially Detective Michael Griffin, who continued to follow leads in the case. Detective Griffin is amazing, she said. Kelly believes someone has the answer to Trudy's disappearance, and she wants to keep Trudy's case in the public eye so that somebody will remember something. She begs people to think back, dive back into your memory banks. She must have said something to somebody, and there's just got to be something that someone knows. We just want to know where the people involved put her, she said. 
Trudy Leanne Appleby was born on September the 4th, 1984, and was 11 years old when she disappeared. She was 4 feet 10 inches tall and weighed approximately 80 pounds. She is a white female with long brown hair and blue-green eyes. Her case remains unsolved and her whereabouts remains a mystery many years after she vanished. Anyone with information concerning this case should please call the Moline Police at 309-797-0401 or Crime Stoppers at 309-762-9500.